Today I'm going to discuss a little bit about industrial IoT and the role of data and data analytics in IoT systems. And I'm also going to present some of our research works that has been done during last years. So, IOT, IOT, Internet of Things, present the idea of connected world when objects or things become smart by connecting to the Internet and exchange information and improve their functionalities. Essentially, IOT can be described as a well-connected things that can communicate and exchange information to carry on collaborative tasks and by doing so, imitate intelligent behavior. Based on the requirements for different applications, they can be divided into different uh, scenarios. What we have is that we have reliable communication, reliability requirements, real-time guarantees, security, and many more. This division based on this can be discussed in that, for example, if we have few degrees in temperature ups and down in home heating systems, it can be tolerable. But if we have the same problem in the health monitoring system, then we are basically may looking at the challenge, which is the patient's condition becoming critical. This division is usually known as, so this division usually, usually give us two branches, the consumer IoT, which we usually refer to as just IoT, and then industrial IoT. The shared requirement for both of these branches is connectivity. A large number of devices are generating huge amount of data in a well-connected network. But a network of connected devices by itself is unusable if we don't have any kind of uh, analytical methods that can transform this pool of data into actionable insights. IoT in industrial application aims to utilize the data and information gathered from sensors, machinery, which are in factory halls, to provide additional insights to the system that can improve and increase revenue. Recent years, the idea has been to apply data analytic tools such as data mining, statistics, machine learning, and different methods in data science and deploy, apply them on heterogeneous data sources from data streams in the industry to log registration codes of the users to filter the data, transfer it, synchronize it, and then trying to model the behavior of the system. Also, we wanted to do all of this autonomously. And the result of that supposed to bring us more insight to the system and enhance smart, intelligent decision making, which can end up in higher efficiency. But application of data analytics in industrial scenario is not something new. Since mid 20th century, the industries has started to pushing for automation to improve their efficiency and increase revenue. Data collected from the field level network has been sent to higher levels to provide actionable insights which can enhance processes. Recent years we even witnessed that cloud computing and cloud service has been added to these processes. In this regard, industrial IoT is just the next step in the process, which has been triggered by a spread of internet and the falling costs of connectivity and data processing. So the question here would be, 
how the processes in the lower layers of automation system can be beneficial from data analytics and how this process can actually enhance the IoT system performance and contribute to increase efficiency. In our research, we mainly focus on the functionality and information exchange in the lower layers. We address reliable exchange of information within required real-time guarantees. We argue that crowding the communication channel by transmitting the data, by transmitting the data, raw data from all the sensors that are implemented in the factory halls and sending all of them from hundreds of thousand sensors to cloud will add unnecessarily and unex unacceptable delay to the whole system. It cannot be energy efficient and it's not anywhere even close to being a smart. So we aim to replace the periodic data transmission by an event-based information transmission. For this, we designed a novel framework for an industrial IoT monitoring system. We developed a distributed learning model which is applicable on sensor devices and a semi-centralized system modeling which can then integrate all the views that we get from the distributed sensors and provide a local view of the system. In our industrial IoT framework, we introduced an IoT fog layer to traditional conventional way that they are doing it. And we reason it, we justify it by that if we put the processes closer to the system, to where the data is gathered, we can reduce the time for actions, actions that are required to be taken in the floors. The semi-centralized local view of the system is also being constructed in the fog layer. The changes that may happen in the sensor IoT mode layer can be detected at sensors layers. Then this information can be communicated to fog node to produce the system model. This information can further be used for tasks such as fault detection, smart ma maintenance and scheduling, and resource management. To test if our learning method is actually working, we collected some data from machinery devices in industry. The data streams that we collected exhibit different behavior with different sampling rates. The yellow line shows the result of our model recreating these streams. As you can see, the model has been successfully and almost real time could have captured the behavior and predict and follow the movement of the sensors. Also, when the information transmissions replaces raw data transmission, the uplink traffic can be reduced by 98 percentage, which means less traffic would be pushed through the shared channel, communication channel. Also, when we are doing this modeling at the sensor level, we can have a better energy management because we are eliminating unnecessarily lot radio communication. To test our framework, we also developed an IoT test bed system and tested the performance of our methods and framework and the uh, learning models in a more realistic scenario. Each layer was implemented using relevant technologies. We use TELSPs to implement sensor network layer. We use uh, Raspberry Pis to implement the fog computing layer. And we also developed an uh, end user application. Right now, it's just showing the differences that is happening. 
The result basically showed us that the system was working as expected. Also, when we studied the delayed, we realized that even in the setup that we had, which the fog and cloud was in the same local network, the delay has been reduced at least by 4%, which is something that can be even improved in the future. We are having our testbed and our frameworks and our model. Now we are investigating more robust methods for change detection and in a system with fewer expert input. How the system identification can be deployed? How can we defer changes from anomalies? How can we improve the real-time guarantees of our model are the question that we are going to answer in the future. But one thing is certain. Industrial IoT is still in early ages and we are facing new and exciting challenges by day. And I can say for our group that we are looking forward to tackle these problems. Thank you. Thank you, Mesat. Uh, do we have any questions? Well, I have, I have a short one. Um, if I understand you, you introduce an extra layer to become more efficient, you could say. Is there any, do you have any feeling in which kind of scenarios does this help? And in which, which kind of scenarios does that just add an extra layer? Uh, since our focus is in industrial automation at the moment, we were targeting monitoring systems. But something that can be studied more uh, is using it is in control systems. At the moment, the deployment of IoT, although getting quite a hip on all the industrial applications, but has been surprisingly slow when it goes to automation system. And there is a reason. The systems there are quite working, has been working for quite some time and quite well. So it is hard to actually push it that, okay, let's go there without having better results. But the vision would be having this in industrial automation, which in the future with, coming, with this coming term of industry 4.0 or the next industrial revolution would be part of that. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions? No. Okay, then we go on to the next speaker. Thank you again. Um,